up to my own lead guitar, swing his head off any time he takes a chance on it. Land of Man of Land, Mr. Eugene Edwards. <laughs> Shakes the Morocco. Sometimes he shimmies. You know the difference in a shimmy and a shake, don't you? <laughs> shimmy don't hurt as much and it lasts longer. Than... <laughs> Playing the piano, the organ, the accordion, anything with a key on it. Before there was black keys, he was playing all white keys up and down the accordion and the organ. Now, piano. Before there was a black keys, he had hits of his own. Oh. He also plays guitar if you hadn't noticed and he sings his head off. He's got it back on, back here on the keyboards. <clears throat> One of the great musicians I've ever worked with, Mr. Brian Wheeler. fine musician and a hell of a man. Even though most nights he comes on stage barefoot. <laughs> Homeliest barefoot drummer ever played. Well, I knew one of them. James Cruz. Then again, he's going to sue you for royalties for playing barefoot. Not that he's bitter. Actually, <clears throat> one of the most musical drummers I've ever met in my life. If I could just get him to focus. Back here on the drums, Mr. Mitch Marine. Yeah. Up around Reno where he graduated high school. They call him Mr. Swanky. He knows the difference in a shimmy and a shake when he come out of there. <laughs> Having sung on many more records over the years, if you got those records, you've heard him. And singing on the current album, playing bass all over it, smiling and carrying on every night up here on the stage with Mr. Jonathan Clark on the bass. <laughs> <laughs> well, out here near the near the 29 Palms on the Joshua Tree, this is a good spot to play this one that my buddy Dave Alvin allowed me to record a few years ago. I'm mean, just looking for a hit album. <laughs>
Virgil.